This video is uh, in the course of linear algebra and we are still in the very first chapter. We are still introducing concepts on vectors in REN, in the vector space. So this video is about the linear combination of vectors. We say that U is a linear combination. So we have a vector U, a vector V, a vector W, they are all in a given vector space and we have alpha and beta um, scalars in this case in the field of the reals so alpha and beta real numbers we say that u vector u is a linear combination of vector v and vector w if there is a given value alpha and a given value beta that if I put alpha here and beta here I get this vector okay so the question here is what is the, the vector u here that is a linear combination of these two vectors so here we are saying that vector v is 1, 2 and vector w is the vector 3, 4 okay so now we are going to do 2 times v and we are going to add that to 3 times w okay let's do it so 2 times 1, 2 plus 3 times 3, 4 right so that is going to be 2, 4 and 9, 12. Okay, that is 9 plus 2 is 11 and here is 16. I hope I did not make any mistake. Okay, so if you look well, 11 and 16, this vector, so this will be vector u, is a linear combination of these two vectors, vector v and vector w. So, we've, if we can write a vector with scalar products of two vectors, we say that this vector u is a linear combination of these two. Okay, let us see one example. We have vector u, so you see that these vectors, they, are, they belong to R2. We have vector u that is vector 4 and y so y will be a real number right here y will be a real number a scalar as we say this will be a scalar and v is a vec the vector to 3 now the question is can we write the vector u as a linear combination of vector v well um, I have to put a scalar here. Let's call the scalar x. Okay, so x will be in the real numbers too. A fixed number, of course. Okay, so what we have here is the vector 4y. Can it be written as a linear combination of x to 3? So 4y has to be 2x, 3x, right? So y here is a component and x here is a scalar. Okay? Okay, so that has to be 4 has to be equal to 2x, right? And y has to be equal to 3x. Okay, this is uh, basic calculations, right? x equals 2. So y will be uh, 3 times 2, right? So x will be 2 and y will be 6 right 
So if x is 2 and y is 6, the vector u can be written as a linear combination of the vector v. Well, I shouldn't say linear combination. I should say we can find vector u multiplying v by a given scalar, okay? Because linear combination is for two vectors. Okay, let us do another quick example. Let us say we have vector w and we have vectors u and v. As you can see, they are all in R2. Okay, uh, can we write vector w as a linear combination of vector u and vector v? Is that possible? Okay, let us see if that is possible. We are going to do 1, 9. With, I don't know what... I'm going to use x as scalar here, okay? 1, 2, plus, and this should be another scalar, okay? 3, minus 1. Of course, x and y will be real numbers. Okay. So, 1, 9 is to be x times 1 is x, x times 2 is 2x, y times 3 is 3y, y times minus 1 is minus y. So, 1 has to be equals to x plus 3y, and 9 has to be equal to 2x minus y. Okay? So, so now you just do the, the basic calculations, you'll get to get a conclusion that x equals 4, y equals minus 1. So, yes, this is true. W is a linear combination of these two vectors. Um, we just need, for W, we just need, if we multiply vector u by 4, and if we multiply vector v, by minus 1, we get vector w. So vector w is a linear combination of vector u and vector v.